back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. Well, we're talking in-seal dining today on the Joy, and I am super excited to show you what I've already booked and hopefully still can book once I get on the ship. And uh, what I'd like you to do is keep your thoughts open to giving me suggestions on some of the foods that maybe I should be trying at some of these restaurants that I've already scheduled, or maybe if I'm skipping something, you should be telling me you need to try it, you need to go to that restaurant, you need to, you better do it. Just leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. Day. I am having an amazing time planning for this new cruise, NCL Joy. I, I'm like, this ship is only going to be here in the Mexican Riviera for just a short amount of time. In fact, I think it leaves like April, mid-April, end of April to go to Alaska. So I'm kind of excited, and it was here, uh, so it was like Alaska, and then it came here, and so then it's going to go out, and then I think after Alaska, I think it goes to the Caribbean. I'm not sure. I'll throw it in somewhere. Anyway, um, so really excited to be able to get on this ship before, <coughs> get on this ship before it leaves, and so um, what we're going to talk about today is dining. And um, one of the things I am looking at right now is the different dining options that are available for um, uh, NCL uh, Joy. NCL Joy. <laughs> Here we go. So this is what um, is available on the um, ship. And so, and literally, we're just going to talk about dining. Now, um, some of these are repeat of, or on many ships, I guess, of NCL brand. And so, this is just going to be the kind of included complimentary dining, as you can see here, here, somewhere. Um, maybe I'll put it on the whole screen. All right. So we have the Manhattan Room, which I love. I had that wonderful mushroom pasta stuff. It was so good. I'd uh, love to go back to that. Room service. Now, as you can see, there is a 20% gratuity and beverage service charge it will be added anytime they do room service. And there is, you know, the food is complimentary, but there is a $9.95 uh, $9 fee uh, will be added to your check. Um, with exception of Continental up until 10 a.m., and sweet guests, they uh, don't have a fee. Then you also have the Savor Restaurant, which they say balances classic with unique new dishes. That's what the way they say it. Um, I didn't have Savor over there. I had the Manhattan on the Epic and Taste, I believe. Um, taste is just kind of like your everyday steak, chicken, um, kind of, you know, menu. It's like that. So the Garden Cafe uh, is your buffet. And then the Haven Restaurant is only for the Haven guests. So if you want to know more about Haven and stuff like that, go to Jim Zim. If you haven't heard of him, believe me, you're missing out. Because if you've heard of me and you haven't heard of him, you, like, you got to go to him. Because he goes on Haven. I think he does Haven every single time he does NCO. So they love it. Um, and then the local bar and grill, which I am thinking, I am hoping this is like Oceans. Because, oh my God, if they have the wings, the sweet chili wings on this, oh, love those wings. All right, then they have the specialty restaurants. So the specialty restaurants, they're all different. Some are a la carte, some have fees. Some of them you can buy within a package. You can buy like a two specialty dinner package for two people or three or four or whatever. Um, some of them are part of the free at sea where you can get three specialty dining restaurants and then you pay still for your fee. You still pay like a gratuity fee or something like that. And then um, of course you'd still pay for your like your alcohol or soda or something. Um, any, any drink that isn't included. 
So the one I want to go to is this one, Ocean Blue. Um, it's the seafood. I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's a seafood restaurant. And so on, when I was booking, um, I actually could not do a reservation with Ocean Blue online. And so I'll have to get on, when I get on board, I'll have to go. Because that's one of the main ones that I do actually want to do. Um, I did teppanyaki on the uh, Epic. And it was wonderful. It was a great time. I actually could not adjust my camera to actually get great footage. Uh, but I'm definitely not going to be doing it again on this one because there's other ones to go to. This one is $39 per adult. And then there's also a gratuity fee on top of that. And that's like when they do the Japanese cooking in front of you. It's it's fun. It's very entertaining. You sit with a whole bunch of people. I was by myself. So I sat with all these other people. And a lot of them were from California. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Um, the American Diner, of course, it probably, let's see, it's got like lobster rolls, crispy chicken, it's a la carte, and I think you can just like pop in there. I don't even know if you need a reservation, I don't know anything about this one, but we're going to find out when we get on board. I did go to Cagney Steakhouse last time on the Epic. Now, I guess I'm just not, like, I, I just didn't find it overly great. I mean, it was good, but I just didn't find it overly great for it. Um, I think I paid, and I didn't have specialty dining. I think I paid like, I ended up paying like 40 bucks for my meal because it was all a la carte. So every little piece is like, there's pieces you put together and stuff. So I knew anything. I think for me it was like 40, maybe almost 50 bucks. Um, I did, I did have a beer on that one. So, but so factor that in. So it may have been like 40 bucks plus the beer. Um, Food Republic. Um, I actually don't know anything about this one, but let's read. Travel somewhere new with every delicious bite at Food Republic. Savor a fusion of foods and cultures from around the globe. Travel to Mexico and scoop up some tasty street food. Jet away to Japan and try a new kind of sushi roll or have a healthy, hearty helping of Thai noodles. So it looks like just like uh, like an international, I want to say like an international cafe. That's kind of what it sounds like, where you can get like different types of food. So uh, maybe we'll check that out. Maybe hopefully they'll be open at lunchtime and maybe I could just have like, like a little lunch or something. That's nice. Okay. Uh, now I say, you know, so it's La Cucina, La Cucina, like, mm, what do you want to say? I think it's La Cucina. Um, so... Um, this is the Italian restaurant. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm going to go to this. Um, I've heard it's wonderful, but I don't know if it's on my radar to really um, scoop up anything because I think, I think I'm going to wait. The Bistro is the next one, and it's the French restaurant. I didn't get to go on this on the Epic, and I really wanted to, but I just, I don't know, I just couldn't fit it in or get tired. Um, French food is typically kind of heavy, and I am, I actually kind of made the mistake of putting this at the beginning of my cruise, but it's on, I think, it's on that first night, so the next day is a sea day, so it's actually like I can kind of kick back and not worry about too much, and in case like I really have like a food hangover with it, um, so... Uh, but I did do it, uh, I did book this for the first night. So Q is uh, like a Texas barbecue type place. It's not the same as Cagney's, which is more just like a steakhouse. Um, this is like your, um, and I haven't been there, but this is my understanding of it just being like that kind of smoke barbecue meat, like just really good stuff. And so I did book this, and um, so this is going to be another one that's going to be new for me, so I'm really excited to do that. So my top ones, of course, are Q, Le Bistro, um, and Ocean Blue. So that's a little French, a little seafood, and a little barbecue. And then I definitely want to check out the local... And I want to go to uh, back to the Manhattan room. I may like 
end every single cruise with the Manhattan Room. It's just so good. I just really liked it. Um, so there's one other thing that I found when I was going through looking at the different, um, what do you call it, the different um, entertainment options to book. This one is called Wine Lovers the Musical. Do you love wine? Um, I actually really don't, but <laughs> do you love comedy? Yes, I do. Then you have a show for you, it says. Hailed as a great evening out by the New York Post, Wine Lovers, the world's first wine tasting musical, brings laughs and libation aboard. Join us for Wine Lovers, where you'll taste sensational wines and enjoy a lovely lunch. So this is actually done during lunchtime. So I actually booked this. What day did I book this? I booked this on... I booked this on the Sea Day after all the ports. So the first sea day, and then the next, I have one more sea day after that. Um, so that's the day I booked this, and I'm going to, of course, try a little, I'm doing a little tasting of wine. I'm, uh, all right. And I'm going to have some lovely lunch that day. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to try something different. Um, I actually never heard of this, but um, yeah, I'm excited. And so the price per person is $24.53. Yes, that's what it says, $24.53. I don't know. Do you get that? It's like 24 bucks. I like 24.50. Not even 24.99. $24.53. <laughs> so anyway, I booked that. I paid for it. It's done. It's a done deal. It's done. And uh, so I like uh, anytime I can prepay stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that on one of the days. So that was something a little bit different. And so I'm excited to come show you some of this. I don't know how much they'll allow me to record or anything, but I will ask and see what I'm allowed to bring all to you. Of course, I'm sure they will let me do the wine and everything. I'll probably be sitting with other people. So, of course, um, like other people, like you all know, we have to be courteous to our fellow people at tables, especially if they don't want to be recorded and stuff. So I will do the best I can in some of these places um, when they seat me with others. So, yeah. So that is it for all my dining options for the NCL Joy. Um, that's my first planning process. Uh, I think my, uh, what I'm going to talk to you guys about later on this week is kind of what, um, once I get everything finalized, what these, what this budget actually looks like. And then when I come back, I'll let you know if I actually stayed within that budget or if I saved, which would be amazing, right? Amazing. So I'm super excited. All right, leave a comment below if I have if you think that maybe I should be booking another restaurant or I'm missing out on something or maybe a suggestion for something that I should be ordering at any of these restaurants, leave it in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a little like and don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.